Good morning, YouTube. It's your girl, Miss Honey. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well this Monday morning. August 9th. Today, our subject is glorious. Gloria. <laughs> Today, the subject is glorious, not Gloria. Comes out of Psalms 145. Uh, verse 5. The morning version is the N, R as in Ralph. S as in Sam, V as in victory version, evening version of Psalms 145 verse 5 is the New Living Translation. Um, without further ado, let's get into it. Psalms uh, chapter 145 verse 5, the NRSV version reads, on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works, I will meditate. The text says leaves changing from green to orange to red. Gently falling snow. A rainbow colored sunrise. A sprout of newness in the dirt. The smell of freshly cut grass. The rustling of leaves in the trees. The smell of a pine tree at Christmas time. Billowy moving clouds. Sunshine kissing our cheeks. It is amazing that our creator would make all of this for us to enjoy. It's glorious, really. Take some time today to slow down. Take a walk outside. Soak in his presence. That's all around you in the grass between your toes, in the rustle of leaves above you in the sunshine kissing your cheeks. And then our prayer for this morning is, Lord Jesus, give me an opportunity today to see your glory in your creation. Help me to stop in amazement at the beauty you have put into your world. The evening version of Psalms 145 and 5 New Living Translation says, I will meditate on your majestic, glorious splendor and your wonderful miracles. The text says, today I have gone, today may have gone by without you stopping to notice the wonder around you. Forget to, we forget to slow down. We ignore the incredibly beautiful world that he made for us to explore and enjoy it's an it is amazing that we walk with a friend it's amazing what a walk with a friend a run through the woods or the feel of bare feet on grass can do for your soul try to make that happen before the day ends the prayer for the evening says, Father, I need another opportunity to appreciate your creation. Help me to discipline myself to get outside and notice the world around me. Thank you that your hidden glory is revealed when you take the time to consider the beauty of nature. The question for ourselves today, August 9th, is do you take time to get outside and enjoy all that he created? Um, most of you guys know that I'm a country girl. You probably can hear it when I say things like the marrow of your bones and 
<laughs> Tough Titty said the kitty, but the milk tastes good. Uh, if that don't light your fire, your wood more than wet. You, you probably have gathered that I'm a bit of a, at the very least, southern individual. But fortunately for me, my mom is city mouse. And and uh, she's from the north, and my dad is a southern boy to his core. And so I've always had the best of both worlds. And um, anyway, growing up, I was always outside, always, always outside. And uh, I've always been a person that noticed even the small smallest things but also I was taught to pay attention um my dad is uh black and Chicta, but he is like third generation Chicta. his his dad was black my grandma Madea Madea was uh black and Indian her mom was black and Indian, right? And, uh, you know, so it, I think it's in the genes kind of, right? Like, we love nature. We love nature. We love being outside. Most of my vacations, it, um, I've never longed to go to New York, even though I was born in New York. <laughs> I, I've never longed to go there. I've been there, but it's not something I want to take a vacation and do. Like it is the complete opposite of what I, I would do on vacation is go and bustle around the city. Right. I want to go somewhere where I can put my sand, my feet in the sand. Um, I want to, I want to see, uh, animals walking around swinging from trees i want to see bugs and insects you know haul their their food off to the dens or or, or their nests or whatever i enjoy that i enjoy sitting on my patio watching the squirrels run up and down the trees i i put organics outside so that i can see them come up and eat it and you know, I I love God's world. I I love I, I love Shark Week. I love Animal Planet. <laughs> I mean, I I just feel like it really connects me to to God, connects me to Christ when I see how wondrous animals are, how huge they are, how huge they're they're appendages are some of them if you've ever stood underneath an elephant I mean it is an absolutely glorious thing um I love the fact that fall when I first start to smell fireplaces it makes me feel like fall is officially here and likewise in spring once I start smelling grills I'm like it's summer summer's here <laughs> It just really connects me, not just to the earth, to something much larger than myself, to something that was equally as complex and well thought out as my own body, as the functioning of my own human body. He put just as much thought into the creation and the evolution of things and it just makes me love God that much more. It makes me appreciate him that much more. And it connects me with the Father. It connects me with the Father. It disconnects me with this notion, this idea that there is nothing like this whole earth, this, you know, the penguins in the North Pole or or um um the animals in in the, at the equator are just all on their own yeah like it's just it's just formed you know what i'm saying <laughs> salt is in this part of the world just because right like <laughs> the fact that two oceans 
collide but never combine right a warm and a cold com collide but they don't combine is just because you know or by some human design bull crap bull crap all of this gloriousness belongs to god it is because of god that makes me so happy because it gives me hope right it fuels my faith it fuels it i know i know there is a god huh when i saw on TV, a frog that freezes solid in the winter and thaws out in the spring and hops off because he's got a component in his blood that keeps it from crystallizing. Come on, come on, come on, come on now. Oh, I know there is a God, huh? And you don't have to go to the, to the furthest corner on earth, to the coldest, which by the way is Siberia part of the earth to to come into full realization as to God's glory and his splendor you have but to go and just sit on your back porch sit on your back deck right go and sit in the park and just look down and watch the ants move Watch uh, how they leave this, this invisible scent trail that leads them back to food and then back to nest and then, right? Watch how they come up on the carcass of a, of a bug and, and, and try to take it whole. And when they can't take it whole, they begin to pull the parts off. And how if you look away for a few minutes and pay attention to something else and then look back, you'll see that bug almost dismantled and broken down and carted off. Huh? Like a food train. You can see that in your own backyard. You can see the color of the leaves, the way that the moss grows, the, the toughness of an acorn. Huh? The sound of when you know it's going to be a hot day, you can hear those those bugs. You know how it is on a hot day. You can hear them uh, sawing their legs back and forth, and it denotes the humidity. I'm country girl, so I get it. Or at night, you hear the frogs begin, get it, 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 get it. Get it, get it, get it. A symphony of sounds. God's earth is glorious. God's earth is marvelous. All that he has put here for us to enjoy and contribute. The trees contribute to your breathing. The sun contributes to the pr production of your vitamin D. All of it works together for your good, for your betterment. So it is my prayer for you today that you will take time today and acknowledge it. I pray that you grasp what it is that I'm saying, that you connect with the words, that you feel moved in your spirit to look over as you travel around and 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 see God's wonder. Right. Remember, as a child, you would play outside and you would lay up under. I know we did used to lay up under the biggest oak tree we could find. We would climb it and swing from it and all of that and then we would lay up under it and look up through the, le the, the, the branches 
and you felt like you were looking into outer space or lay in the park and look up at the at the clouds and see how they move they seem like big fluffy stuffy slow moving pieces of cotton candy but if you pay attention you realize they're moving at a pretty good click at pretty good speed It is all wondrous. And you're better off when you take a note of it. You connect with God in a way when you take a note and you appreciate it. Right? Because it was all designed for you. For your betterment. For your happiness. It is an extension of life. You are a part of life. Uh, the trees, the birds, the bees, the animals, this earth, this soil, the wind, fire, water, air. It's all a part of this life that he has created for us. We should love and appreciate every part of it. Also, it's nice to take a break from humans. It's nice to take a break from humans. Just you, your God, and the land he created for you. All right? So that's my prayer today. Just stop and take a minute. I pray that you have a minute to take. I pray that God lays it on your heart that you stop and take a minute. Also, let me know. How do you guys enjoy chilling outside? I'd love to know. Please put it down below. Listen. Take time to get outside and enjoy all that God created. All right. I love you guys with the love of the Lord. Nothing you can do about that. And until next time, honeybees, I'll holler.